Hello everyone, this is Daniel Batchelor from Powder River Precision. Today we're looking at the Springfield Hellcat and the Powder River Precision trigger kit for that pistol. We're gonna start clearing the gun. and measuring the trigger pull from the factory. Next, we'll take the slide off, lock the slide back, rotate the takedown lever to the up position, move the slide forward, make sure the back of the slide is lined up with the frame, pull the trigger, remove the slide. We'll set the slide off to the side. We can remove the takedown lever by rotating it towards the 10 o'clock position and then continue to pull out and rotate. This is our three millimeter punch, standard gunsmithing hammer. We're just gonna give all three of these pins a quick tap. Lift up on the locking block. Note there's the slide lock spring. Move the slide lock. On the sear housing block, you have to push forward just a little bit, then lift up. Be careful, there's a little spring clip right there. You don't want to lose it. We'll pull forward on the trigger bar and then wiggle it out of the sear. the disconnector pin fell out. I'm going to put my fingers on either side of the sear spring pin. Use a little screwdriver with a notch in it. Grab the pin and slide it out of that detent on the pin. Three millimeter punch. You'll note this pin has a larger head on one end that would go on the right side of the pistol. Smaller end goes towards the left side of the pistol. Take a screwdriver, grab the disconnector spring, lift it up. Spring comes out, and then the factory disconnector comes out. This is a magazine disassembly part and makes it so the magazine, you can't disassemble the gun with the magazine installed. 
it's not a magazine safety in that you could fire the gun with the magazine out, but you just can't take the gun apart with the magazine installed. Move the guide rod and the barrel. Here's your striker. You can take a small punch, and grab the striker spring guide right here, push it forward, and then slide the striker retainer plate back. This pin is under spring tension, so you're gonna to wanna to put your finger over that while you pull the striker retainer plate off. You can remove the striker. Move the, remove the extractor spring and pins. And there's a little pin inside this spring that limits the travel. If you depress the striker safety, you can remove the extractor and then the striker safety and striker safety spring. It comes with Powder River Precision Sear for the Hellcat, Sear Spring, Disconnector Spring, Striker Safety Spring, Disconnector and striker safety. Assembly is in the reverse order. Get the striker safety, striker safety spring, install the striker safety spring into the bottom of the striker safety. Install both of those into the slide. With those depressed, grab your extractor, hook the front end of the extractor in, and rotate it to the rear. Now the striker safety will hold the extractor in. Extractor spring and rod. You want to make sure this notch is lined up so you can install the striker retainer plate. Reinstall the striker and striker safe or striker spring, striker spring guide. Grab the striker retainer plate, hook it onto the striker spring guide. Use a small punch and depress the extractor spring. Everything clicks in. Set that off to the side.
Take the sear and the sear spring. Hook one of one end of the sear spring through the sear. Your sear housing block. I find it easier to put the spring onto a punch and then transfer it onto the pin. Remove the punch and slide the spring over to the detent. Get our disc connector. If you have a pair of small needle nose, it helps. And then looking down through the hole in the sear housing block, transfer it onto a punch, this is two millimeter punch. And I hold the disconnector in place and remove the punch. Get the new disconnector spring. Place one end of it over the disconnector, compress it and line it up with the hole on the opposite side. So the sear's hanging down here. And when we rotate it into position, we'll grab the trigger bar hook it in there, and then manipulate it to line it up with the slots. Pull it forward and lock it in that position. frame, magazine safety, install that. And we're gonna put our spring clip back in place. And the disconnector pin. holding our finger over the spring clip. We'll lower the sear housing block. 
into the frame and then slide it rearward. Next, we'll take our takedown lever, install that, our locking block, and our slide lock spring. I install the feed ramp end first, line up the notch, slide that down. Trigger pivot pin. Then you move the slide lock back and forth until it lines up and you can look through that hole. Use a punch to seat the pin until it clicks. Locking block pin. This one has two grooves. Seat that till it clicks. Sear housing block pin has three grooves. Seat that until it clicks. Take the takedown lever, line this notch up with the flat of that spring, and rotate clockwise. Go back to the nine o'clock position, push in, rotate up, that's it. You can see it operate the uh, magazine safety there. Take our barrel and our slide, reinstall the barrel, guide rod, reinstall the guide rod. Put the slide on, lock it back. Rotate the takedown lever to the down position. Check for proper function. Now we'll weigh the trigger pull after it's installed. Now, depending on where you started, you should expect somewhere between three and a half, I'm sorry, somewhere between uh, four and a half and four pounds. So we're just slightly below four pounds here. Thanks for watching. Thank you for your business.